Well, we're ready to start our very first mini lecture, and our first chapter is going to be chapter 7. Not to panic, I know chapter 7 is in the middle of the textbook, however, chapter 7 is not any more difficult and actually less difficult than some of the earlier chapters. In the first slide in every mini lecture, I'm going to give you a set of pages or a number of pages to read before you start, and this will give you the necessary background to understand the information in the chapter and in the mini lectures. I've also noted here to pay close attention to the bold or italicized terms in the text because these are the terms that I typically will put on the quizzes and the assessment assignments. Since this is an introductory course, the terminology is very, very important. Every course has its own particular vocabulary. And in this particular case, for a computer information systems course, there are going to be a lot of terms that relate to computer hardware and software that will be very commonly used in that particular field. You will also notice that in some of the slides, I provided a notes and activity section to help you give you additional information or tips or even links to other websites that will help clarify that particular topic. You will need a copy of PowerPoint to view my mini lecture slides. If you do not have a copy of PowerPoint, you can download a free PowerPoint viewer from Microsoft. I have a link in your learning modules. And you can see it is right down here. You will notice there's going to be PowerPoint slides in each chapter. And I wanted to give you a brief description of what the PowerPoint slides provide. First of all, it's a brief summary of the chapter topics contained in the textbook. It doesn't cover every single aspect or every single concept in detail. It does give you additional examples of information to help clarify the more difficult topics contained in the text. So I may see a particular topic in the textbook that I think needs further explanation, and I'll include that information into a PowerPoint slide. I'll also provide web links that are relevant to a particular topic area. So again, to try to give you some more background information or more recent information on a particular topic area. What don't the PowerPoint slides cover? They do not cover all the terms that you're responsible for that are contained in the particular textbook chapter. So you will need to read the textbook. I can't emphasize that enough. You will have to read the chapter carefully. You will not be able to score well on the assessment assignments and the quizzes simply by reading the text-based slides. So please read the range of pages I've given you. There are also activities at the end of each chapter that will help you review the topics and the terms of that chapter. So if you need some additional help studying, there are fill-in-the-blank questions, multiple choice questions, matching questions available for you to work through. Well, that's about all I have to say before we get started. I just wanted to give you a few tips and guidelines, and I will see you at mini lecture one for set PowerPoint slides.